Hello, me llamo Julen. Welcome. Sorry. Welcome to my disorganized ass office. Dink, are we in agreement here? I have these cool shoes on because we're going to work out soon, but I wanted to show you some other shoes that we got. Well, they're not really shoes and they're not in here. And I lost them. Where did I put them? This is not going to plan. I think they're upstairs. Well, that'll have to wait. What? Um, I just returned home from jujitsu and we are going to our workout in about an hour. And the week has begun. We had a really like chill, fun Labor Day. We did some swimming, which we have not been doing nearly enough of. We hung out with the dogs. We watched some Westworld. We played some video games. It was good. It was all good. But now it is back to the week, which means we have responsibilities and things to be at and places to see. Come here. Okay. Wow. Uh, but this weekend we also had a fun day where we went out um, into the world and like just went to like Ventura Boulevard and we were like people. We were in public. It was, it was nice to feel a little bit normal. Uh, but that's when we bought these like slipper shoes that I wanted to show you. They're really badass. I think I'm just gonna go get them because I don't want to wait any longer. Okay. I fed them last night. Don't work today. Your hands don't work today? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to feed them. But you better feed them, my hands broke. I was gonna show our new slipper shoes and I don't, I already lost mine. I can't, I don't know where mine are. Oh, they're up by my bed, I think. Oh, Jenna has her. Mm -hmm. Perfect, let's do this, okay. They were a little expensive, but I like the idea that you can wash them. You could probably DIY these, like, pretty easy. They're slipper shoes. They're like socks, but they're slippers. So they have, like, an elastic band to keep your foot in there. But, like, there's, like, just a small amount of... It's not even, like, a foot pad, like, foam or anything. It just feels like a little pillow. So there's not a lot of foot support, but, like, it's really nice around the house. And then when they get dirty, you can just throw them in the washing machine. But, like... This would, you could really probably DIY these. Like, I could have made these for us. But I saw them in the store and I was like, gimme, 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 I'm leaving. All right, so I guess I have to feed the dogs now. But those are the slippers we got, they're really exciting. They're they're great for like being around the house where you don't need to like have a ton of support but you don't want to be barefoot or whatever or wear socks. And then you put them in the washing machine. I'm never gonna wash mine. I'm gonna wash mine. Never ever, oh, I'm still sweating. <laughs> yeah. No. This is no. Incorrect. All right. You guys want to eat? Rome's coming soon. Are you going to surprise her? Yeah, what should we do to surprise Rome? I don't know. You got anything nice to surprise her with? Yeah, I can put hot sauce in my hand and shake her hand. <laughs> Coat my hand in olive oil and shake her hand. No, who am I kidding? She'll never shake my hand. If I try to shake her hand, she's going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, we can pretend that there's a wild bird somewhere. She loves those. She's already on to me, man. Julian, I was just eating my Vegemite. And then you come out and do that. Yeah, she was just eating her Vegemite. Okay. Peachy, that's not your bowl. What the fuck are you watching? Are you watching Vines? She's watching Vines. Stop judging me. It says vines to distract you from life's pressures. Can you feel distracted? All right, I have lunch. Um, it's arugula, olives, black beans, kidney beans, bacon bits, vegan honey mustard, and olives. Did I already say olives? There's olives. <laughs> Get out of there. Do I have today? anything weird in there? <laughs> <laughs> Look who came to visit. Okay, stop being so stiff. 
It's his turn. Hi, brave boy. It'll take you a lot of courage. Huh? feel really good after that shower, not gonna lie to you. Got a couple things to do before tonight's stream. Um, number one, I'm having a video call with my good friend who lives in Australia, Matt Joes. Oh, look who it is. I know, you gotta upgrade your webcam, dude. Looking for tape. I know I have gaffer's tape somewhere and I need it because this is what I'm currently doing. I'm like building a makeshift green screen because Jenna needs a green screen for her video and we need it near a PC. Our upstairs green screen where we podcast is standalone. There's no like computer there or PC rather. I was like positive I had gaffer's tape in here. Anyway, um, Jenna's gonna be doing some green screen makeup or just turning into a green screen. So I'm building that right now. Um, I'm basically taking our mic stand, the one that's underneath the left side, and I'm gonna bridge it, I'm gonna tape it to that extra rod that I got from this, which was actually part of the easel we used for last minute trips, uh, which we obviously need to replace. Uh, but I used that like spare little rod to connect it on top to another tripod that was previously used for a light. So that way it can cover that whole box. I did it. <laughs> Got the green screen going. Remember this? This is how we used to stream. Eh, bip, bip, bip. responsibility right now that I've been putting off for a handful of days now because it's been stressing me out. As many of you know, I am part of a very cool community and group known as the Sony Alpha Collective, basically a group of some videographers and photographers that work with Sony Alpha products, which I do and have been for many years, who get the opportunity to work with the brand directly. And I've been with them for over a year, I think, or coming up on a year, something, I don't know. Uh, occasionally, Sony, thank you, Sony. I love you very much. I'm currently shooting on you. You're looking nice and beautiful. Occasionally, Sony will send us gifts. Recently, I've been sent this bad boy. A tried and true 1510 Pelican case. It's something that I've always wanted, but I've never had. So Sony recently sent us a Pelican case for our gear. And I received it and I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. Like it's, it's even got the Sony Alpha colors and everything. The only problem now <laughs> is it's basically like a, a self storage system. So you have to decide how you want to organize it by cutting these up. Like you literally cut it up with this blade that they give you in order to make like dividers for whatever configuration you would use uh, for your products. Which is so much pressure. Now you can see why I've put off doing this because I don't want to do it wrong, which I probably should just come to terms with the fact that I'm going to mess it up um, in some way. This is kind of the stuff I would want to have. I would want to have the Ronin S, the uh, gimbal, which if you'll remember, I beta tested this a while back uh, and I did, didn't tell you what it was at the time because I was not allowed, it hadn't been released yet, but I beta tested this a while back and it is a single arm gimbal and I'm gonna be doing more stuff with it coming up. So, but this is number one, right? 
I'm gonna fit that in there. 24 to 70 lens. So these are just this, this, and then what you're looking at, the 16 to 35 2.8. Those are the three lenses I would pretty much need for any given like shoot of anything. Small HD focus monitor, in case I want an on-camera monitor. And I think last but not least, the DJI Mavic or the DJI Mavic 2. I don't know. DJI, let me know which drone you'd like me to put in this case, because right now all I have is this. But luckily they're the same form factor, the Mavic 1 and 2, pretty much. It's the, They're a little bit different, but pretty much the same. They both fold the same, relatively the same size. So yeah, the drone is the last piece. So now I need to figure out how to section this off. Before making your first cut, lay out your gear inside the case with only the Trek Pack perimeter in place. Okay, and then it says measure twice, cut once. Dude, measure once, cut twice, dude. Hello? So if you can imagine this space will be for either a monitor or a camera body. It's a pretty simple rig. We'll have one long side right here, drone top left, lens right here, body right here. All right. Now time to measure once and cut however many times we need to cut. so professional. I feel like this case belongs to someone who knows m way more what they're doing than I do. But I'm really happy with how this worked out. I thought I was going to mess it up and I don't think I did. I have nowhere to go but I really want to pack now. 